Okay, I forgot to tell you, in the video that you'll be seeing here in a minute, uh, to do the uh, uh, talkie picks, the uh, jib jab, um, when you have your pick, to get your animation timeline, you go up to your window, and just animation, that opens up your timeline. Um, so, enjoy the video that's following this. Alright, see ya! Okay, this is just a quick video on, on how I do uh, the jib jab style animation of a picture. Uh, it, just doing it in Photoshop. I see there's tutorials on how to do it in Flash and stuff, and I mean, it seems like a pain in the ass, but this one, this one works pretty good for me. Um, first, I want to make sure my background is black, so switch these around here. Got that. This is my granddaughter, her other grandmother. We'll uh, zoom in. We'll do her mouth. Get the pen tool. I'm going to just shoot it here real quick. Like I said, it's Real easy to do. Right click, make selection, do a zero feather. Okay, layer, new, layer via cut. Alright, that, so the back is black in there. I mean, you, you could put an image in there, or make tonsils, or whatever the hell you want to do. Okay, we got that part done. Now, let's say we do uh, my granddaughter's eye here. Alright, first we want to take the background now, double click on it, make it a layer. Okay, we'll get our ellipse, we'll make a circle here, like so. And then we're going to do a uh, layer, new layer via copy. Okay, so that's just going to be right there. We're going to put this layer behind the background layer. All right. Um, then we'll zoom in on our eye here. Get the pen tool. We start marking it off here. Make selection. Okay. Now we're going to go here, layer, new, layer via cut. Um, ah, shite. You know what? Let me undo that, because I wasn't on the background. I was on layer 2 when I did that. You want to cut it from the background image here, or layer 0. Okay, now we can go layer, new, layer via cut. Alright, and we want to drop that layer down behind the background layer and on top of layer 2. Um, then you'll have... Just the eyeball there. Okay, now we'll zoom out. Now we'll move the eye here first. Over here, let's, let's move the eye a little bit so we can blend it in. Okay, so you see how that is there? Let's take, go down to layer two, get the uh, paint bucket. Let's apply that transformation first. Paint bucket. Okay, we're going to, we want to color the layer two to somewhat match the eye. So we'll come up here, we'll get the dropper, pick a color of our eye there, okay. Now we're on our paint bucket tool, we'll fill that. So we got the background filled there. Then you have this obvious outline for the eye, so I take the smudge tool, go up on layer 3, and just smudge it in. Like so, just to break up that, that outline. Then we can go to layer 0, if you want, and just take the smudge tool and run over the eye like that just to smooth it out a little bit. Okay, we'll go to back to background three, move it over to the other side, take our smudge tool, and a smudge along here just to smooth it out a little bit. Okay, good enough. Good enough for me. Okay, we're going to take that, move her back over to start position, basically. Zoom back out. Okay, then from here, what you want to do is just take... Um, you're going to be on your, your frame one here. You go down here, you add a new frame, and here's where you start moving things. Okay? We'll move the eyeball a little bit. Take it over there. Go up here to layer one. Move the mouth. Okay, good. We'll take another layer. Move the mouth a little more. We'll come to layer three. Move her eye a little more. New layer. We can start moving the eye back into position. Over here, we'll move the mouth up. Put another layer on there. Get the mouth basically up in the start position. And the layer three. Get her eye somewhat back to where it was. Okay, and that's really all there is to it. So if we play this, you see you got that. Um, you know, you can make it as complex as you want. There's really nothing to it. Um, you also have the option for tweening. That's what these little bubbles are here. So if you start out on layer one, between it, I have this set to put four frames. It'll put four frames in between number one and number two. 
if you, if you go over four frames, go to number six, you can tween that. And that'll slow the animation down. Um, now, if you were to do multiple layers, I'll show you in a minute here, it'll make uh, uh, like a blur on your screen. Um, let me just tween that out. It's good enough for showing you here. See how it slows things down? So like I said, you can make it as complex as you want. You can make body parts that move, you know. Here's uh, what I did here with several different layers. If you see on the side, this is this is all her arm, okay? So you can see how the tweening here has caused this, this blur. So when you play this, you see how her arm blurs. Um, you know, this needs a little more work. It's not the best in the world, but, well, neither of them are, but... So that shows you, if you have, if you're working with several different layers of the same object, you know, you just move them a little bit at a time, going layer by layer, and you tween it, that's when you get this, this blur in between there. So that's, that's it. That's how I, uh, make a talkie picture. Um, then you'd export it. Um, you can either export it as a, uh, you can do a .mov file, or you can export it as an image sequence. Okay, you can do JPEG, TIFF, PNGs, blah, blah, blah. Um, I just export it as a, uh, as a, uh, oh, well, sorry. You can export it in different video formats. Um, I'll do an AVI, see how that works. Render it. Okay, let's see here. Oh. That's right, I don't know what's wrong with my computer, but let's see, we'll open it with, uh, we'll do VLC. That plays about anything. Alright, so as you can see, it's really short. Oh, that didn't fucking work, did it? Let's export it. Start from frame zero. I'm gonna shift and select all of the frames. I'm still not an expert at this. Um, render the video. Let's do it as a .mov. And we'll render. Replace. Alright. And we'll try this. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so there you have it. Now, you can take this clip, you can put it in a, into a video editing program, and then duplicate it, duplicate it, duplicate it, so it keeps looping. You know, you can make them stop whenever you want to, um, but that's the way you do it right there. That's the way I do it, so. Any questions, ask. If you like what you see, subscribe. If you don't like what you see, subscribe, so you can send me hate letters and whatnot, so. Alright, that's it. See ya! Okay, this is just a uh, follow-up on the talkie picture Okay, this is in Premiere Pro. I've imported that real short MOV into Premiere Pro, and I've just I've been placing it in the timeline. Um, you can see here now how it. Uh, I have about eight copies on there. Um, it's real simple. Just make sure your timeline indicator is not over top of your uh, of your MOVs. You can start putting them in, um, stacking them up like so. I like to put them apart and just ripple delete so that you're you know they. They get in there tight and you're not closing any of the movie. So, like, there's three copies and you select all of them. And then you just go up there. Shit. You select them all and you do a control C and a control V. And they'll paste in where your timeline indicator is. So, make sure it's not over top of the movies and just ripple delete. And then you can do another control V. Ripple delete. Control V. Ripple delete. And then I've already got some here. So, if I ripple delete all that, then I select them all. And I'll scale to frame size. So we play it now. Now it's 11 minutes, 22 frames, or 11 seconds, 22 frames long. So there you go. So you can start putting your narration in their words, you know, stopping it when you want to, this, that. That's it. Alright, again, see ya!